Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So the final for the ATP 250 tournament Gonet Geneva Open is set. It will be a great, great match ahead of us. Tomorrow, not before 4 p.m. local time, so Central European time, Denis Shapovalov, the number two seed from Canada, facing off against Kasper Ruud, the number three seed from Norway. This should be a great match, guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm very looking forward to it. Denis Shapovalov, this tournament, it has been great for him so far. He has been playing very well, decently well, especially his last game in the semi-final against Pablo Cuevas, the player from Uruguay. Denis Shapovalov, that first serve, it was just immensely good. Also, his backhand, forehand, Denis Shapovalov right now looks like a... May, he may be one of uh, the contenders to even win maybe Roland Garros, you would think, because the way he played against Rafael Nadal in Rome, it was very good. He had some opportunities to even win that game against Rafa. I do believe that he was leading in the first set 5-0. So, you know, he is playing right now really well. Denis Shapovalo uh, on clay and Kasparut. We'll talk about Kasparud in just a second, but it has been so far a very, very good season indeed for Kasparud on clay. And Kasparud, I think we can say that he's a specialist for clay tournaments, and uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But right now, let's start with Denis Shapovalo. So, what about this tournament? Well, he started off with a round of 16 matchup, and he beat... Cecchinato, the guy from Italy, but it was a very tight match. To be honest, um, it was very, very tough. Uh, the first set was 6-7. Uh, it was won by Cecchinato, so Shapovalo was one set down, but he was eventually able to come back. 7-5 the second set, and eventually to win it all, 6-1 so in the third In the quarterfinals, Shapovalo was facing Diere. He won, he won in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. And then uh, in the semifinals, he was facing just today Pablo Cuevas from Uruguay, the specialist for clay. And Shapovalo was able to advance 6-4, 7-5. So a great tournament, three wins so far for Denis Shapovalo. And this is actually only the third final of Denis Shapovalov's ATP career. He has been in a final in 2019 in Stockholm and that was his that is still his only win uh, on ATP Tour 2019 Stockholm uh, indoor hard court and then he was in the finals also in 2019 Masters 1000 in Paris that was also obviously hard. Uh, hard court. So Denis Shapovalov really he he probably loves more playing hard court on hard courts than on the clay. But he has been playing uh, very well this tournament and also in Rome against Rafa it was very just uh, uh, very um, very surprising and he have really played uh, played decently. So Denis Shapovalov currently he's facing Kasper Ruud, the guy from Norway. And they have actually not played against each other in their careers. They have never faced each other. So this will be their first meeting. And you would think it could be their first meeting of a lot more to come. Um, I, I'm sure that they are both only 22 years old. So they will be fighting a lot more in the future. Also, I, I would think and also you would think for for the biggest titles in tennis. So it should be very interesting to see their first matchup tomorrow in Geneva in Switzerland. Kasper Ruud from Norway, number three seed. His season on clay so far, it has been just amazing. Congratulations to Kasper Ruud. Of course, this this is or this was today his fourth consecutive semi-final, which is just absolutely amazing. Semi-final in Madrid, semi-final in Monte Carlo, semi-final in Hamburg, all in clay. 
Kasparud, he has been in three finals so far in his career on ATP Tour. All of the three finals were on clay, so Kasparud clearly a clay specialist. 2020 final in Santiago, 2019 final in Houston, and his only win on ATP Tour coming in Buenos Aires last year, 2020. So clearly Kasparud uh, should have advantage in that sense that he's the specialist for clay. So far this season has been amazing on clay for Kasparud. But personally, uh, if, I, if I were to choose, I would choose Denis Shapovalo to win this, uh, this showdown. But it should be a great match, guys. I think we all know this. And actually this tournament, ATP 250 Ghana Geneva Open. Uh, at first I thought, you know, it won't be that good, but Really, the players were able to produce just amazing tennis. Also, Pablo Cuevas, uh, his amazing shots against uh, Denis Shapovalo today. And also, Pablo Andujar, uh, he defeated Roger Federer. Of course, Pablo Cuevas defeated Grigor Dimitrov. We have seen some amazing tennis in Geneva this, this week. And it will all end tomorrow, not before 4 p.m. local time, Central European time, with this great showdown, Denis Shapovalo against Kasper Ruud. Should be a great one, guys. Hope you will watch that as well. I, can win. I can't wait to watch that. And um, yeah, we should see who will win that. Uh, definitely, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already, if you like these videos. And also, guys, please let me, let me know down in the comment section below who is your favorite to win the title. As I have said, I'm favorizing uh, Denis Shapovalov to win this one. He, I'm rooting for him, but I, I also think that if he will serve as well as he was in today's semifinal, he should have an upper hand against Kasparud. However, I'm fully aware of current Kasparud form on clay. He has been just amazing. So uh, it, it definitely will be a very tight contest. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it will be a free, uh, free set match and it should be a great one. I think I think I can I can assure you of that. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow and we'll do overview of this final. Uh, I'm sure it, it will be just amazing. And then we'll look at Leon ATP 250, also at that tournament. Today, uh, three quarterfinals were finished in Leon, so we'll look at the semifinals tomorrow. We'll do overview before the final in Leon, so you could be looking forward to that as well. And then we'll be doing the final overview of the tournament ATP 250 Ghana Geneva Open, the final overview with the winner, and then the final overview on Sunday uh, of the ATP 250 in Lyon. So a lot of videos coming out and of course then we have two tournaments the next week in Belgrade. Novak Djokovic should be playing there and then we have in Emilia Romagna Lorenzo Sonego should be there. So pretty good tournament uh, tournaments as well next week and then of course Roland Garros is, uh, is the next ultimate goal. So it should be a great season to the, this year, guys. And very right now, looking forward to this matchup. Uh, it should be great. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.